What's up, Sean Fagan here from MuayThaiGuy.com and today we're doing a shadow boxing workout for Muay Thai that focuses on defense, counters, and footwork. It's gonna be a ton of fun, so make sure you like and subscribe and let's get to it. So I'm already nice and warm because I just filmed how to shadow box like a pro Muay Thai fighter. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. But if you want a workout, you can also check out this yoga flow uh, made by my wife. That's going to help you get nice and loose and ready for the workout. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's just bounce around a little bit. Shake your arms out. Shake your legs out. Let's do some just quick twists. Just loosen it up. All right. So the main concept with this workout is we're gonna be focusing on obviously defense and footwork. So yes, you want a workout out of this and you wanna sweat like I am right now because the sun is like 100 degrees and just blasting on my face. But the idea is technique, okay? You wanna make sure you're doing the technique right. So do it nice and slow in the beginning. And then once you start to get a feel for the technique and the footwork and whatever we're doing, then you can add some speed and power to it, okay? So the first thing we're doing just gotta check my computer real quick. Is so we're just gonna throw some punches, then we're gonna check and we're gonna teep, okay? So, let's go. Hands up, move around. So throw any kind of punch combination, check and teep. Move around, throw some punches, check and teep. All right, jab, jab, cross, check, teep. Keep moving around. My dogs are barking at someone. <laughs> jab, cross, cross, knee, check, Teep. Just punches. I don't know why I threw a knee, but just keep going. Jab, jab, uppercut, check, knee. Check, teep. I'm delirious. The sun's getting to me. Jab, jab, uppercut, hook, cross, check, teep. All right, come on, three more seconds. Hands up, chin tucked. Stay light on your feet. Um, this is a really good way to warm up. Just throwing these checks and these teeps to loosen up your entire body. All right. Got 10 more seconds. All right, next, we got teeps followed by a check and a roundhouse, right? So you can go throw a teep, check, roundhouse, and reset. Teep, teep, check, roundhouse. You can throw any side roundhouse, any side check, any side teep. Cheap, check, switch kick. All right, the idea is you're just getting used to always defending. Cheap, check, and always countering, right? Man, it sounded like a good idea. Like, yo, I'm gonna do it on the roof today. And then the sun came out and I was like, wow, this is a horrible idea. What the hell are you doing, Sean? Check, check, cheap, check, switch kick, right? So start with a teep, follow with a check, and then throw a roundhouse. Ten more seconds. Teep, teep, check, roundhouse. Teep, check, roundhouse. Nice. All right. Last minute, we're going to do a little bit of both. So you can throw punches or teeps, but you're always going to follow with a check and a counter, right? So jab, cross, hook, teep, check, jab, cross, roundhouse. Jab, uppercut, cross, check. Deep, check, deep, deep, check, roundhouse, all right? So mainly just working on using your teeps and punches and countering. You can counter any way you want. I prefer to counter usually with a kick, especially in the early parts of my shadow boxing. Make sure I'm loosening up my, uh, my hips. Check, roundhouse, we got 15 seconds. Jab, cross, check, roundhouse. Teep, check, switch kick. All right. Almost there. All right, time. Grab a one minute water break, and I'll see you in the next round. As you're grabbing that water, 
I want you to make sure that you're focusing on the technique again, okay? Stay nice and loose, make sure you're focusing on your breath. The next round, we're gonna start with a, a roundhouse. So after the roundhouse, we're gonna come into a check and follow with a teep. And the same idea is gonna be on the other side. You're gonna throw a switch kick, come back into a check, and then throw a teep. It's gonna help you with your body coordination, uh, being able to retract your kick so this way you can defend properly. And it's just gonna be fun. So you ready? We got 10 seconds. This workout can't go fast enough because I think I'm gonna die of dehydration. All right, ready? Let's bounce around. All right, go. So roundhouse, check, deep. So we're just doing rear roundhouse right now, right? Roundhouse, check, deep. Roundhouse, check, deep. All right, make sure you can control your body. You don't want to come too far through and show your back to your opponent, right? You want to be able to throw and then come back into a good defensive position in case they try to counter you if you miss your kick, right? Roundhouse, check, deep. If you want to, you could also throw a full 360 and come into a check and deep, okay? But the chances are, uh, or more likely, that you're gonna get countered and kicked in the back if you do that, especially if you're fighting a fast opponent, right? Roundhouse, check, deep. Roundhouse, check, deep. All right, next round is a switch kick. Check, deep. Switch kick, check, deep. And then reset. Always hands up, chin is tucked. Switch kick, check, deep. Let's go, come on. Switch kick, check, deep. Make sure that switch is nice and quick. Switch kick, check, deep. All right, shake it out, breathe. More so tell myself that than anything. Come on, 25 seconds. Switch kick, check, deep. Switch kick, check, deep. Keep pushing, keep pushing, come on. 10 seconds. Switch kick, check, deep. One more. Switch kick, check, deep, good. Now we're gonna alternate between the two, right? So you throw roundhouse, check, deep. Then you throw a switch kick. Switch kick, check, deep. Roundhouse, check, deep. If you wanna throw some punches before your roundhouses, by all means. It's all up to you, this is your workout, right? I'm just kinda of guiding you, giving you some ideas. I might faint, but it'll be okay. It'll go viral if I happen to die here. So it's okay. Keep pushing, come on. Deep. Come on, almost there. 10 seconds. Check, deep. Good time. Hands up, grab some water. See you in round number three. All right, you got 45 seconds until round number three. Hope you're enjoying this because uh, I'm getting tired and it's really hot. So you better be pushing yourself because I'm pushing myself right now. I'm trying to stay focused on my technique. The next thing we're gonna do, uh, take some visualization practice, right? So I'm gonna start with a jab, then my opponent's gonna throw a jab. So I'm gonna parry with my rear hand. And as I parry with my rear hand, boom, I'm gonna shift open my hip and counter with the roundhouse. The same idea with the other side. I'm gonna throw across, then I'm gonna parry across, open up my hip, and then counter with the roundhouse, okay? Whew, 10 seconds. If you like this stuff, make sure you give me some love. Give it a like, comment below. Let me know how you enjoyed the workout and don't forget to subscribe, bitch. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna throw the jab, then I'm gonna counter, I'm gonna parry the jab, move my foot back and throw the roundhouse and then reset. So jab, parry, roundhouse and reset. 
jab, parry, roundhouse, and reset. Ow, there's like a rock. Ow, motherfucker. Jab, parry, roundhouse. All right, visualize that jab coming right at your face, right? So you throw a jab, your opponent throws a jab, you step off, angle off, cut that angle, load up that roundhouse, and chuck it. Jab, parry, roundhouse. You can also mess around with whether you move forward, jab, parry, roundhouse. Or if you move back while you parry, jab, parry, roundhouse, okay? 10 more seconds. Jab, parry, roundhouse, check. Jab, parry, cross, roundhouse, good. All right, next one. Now we're gonna parry the cross, okay? So you're gonna parry the cross, you can come with a cross and a roundhouse, or you can just throw a regular roundhouse, right? So I throw the cross, parry, roundhouse, and reset. Cross, parry, roundhouse, and reset. Cross, parry, roundhouse. If you want to add a, a punch to it, you throw cross, parry, cross, roundhouse, and reset. Cross, parry, roundhouse. Halfway there, cross, parry, roundhouse. Stay focused, keep visualizing, hands are up, chin is tucked. Cross, parry, roundhouse. Always back into your fight stance, stay light. Relax those shoulders, cross, parry, roundhouse. Nice, almost there, 10 seconds. Cross, parry, roundhouse, reset. Cross, parry, roundhouse. All right, now we're gonna alternate between the two. So you're gonna throw jab, parry, roundhouse. Then you throw cross, parry, roundhouse. So if I throw my left hand, my right hand's gonna parry, and I'm gonna kick with my left. If I throw my right hand, my left hand's gonna parry, I'm gonna kick with my right, okay? So jab, parry, roundhouse. Cross, parry, roundhouse. 30 seconds. Jab, parry, roundhouse. The parry is just a small movement, right? Don't make it too big, because then they can fake it. Jab, parry, roundhouse. Cross, parry, roundhouse, nice. 10 seconds. Jab, oh, jab, parry, roundhouse. Cross, parry, roundhouse, good. Time. We got two more rounds. Grab some water, you're killing it. All right, we got 50 seconds. And uh, yeah, if you like these kind of workouts, make sure you check out thefightersbody.com. I have a lot of follow on workouts just like this that are technique focused, but I also have some uh, hip body weight circuits, some heavy bag workouts, and uh, pretty much anything that's gonna help you, especially if you train at home, or even if you train in a gym, this is a good supplement to your training because you always have focus, you have intention, and you're actually improving and progressing, okay? Because I've seen all these cardio kickboxing workouts before, and yo, those people are garbage. Like a lot of, have millions of views on YouTube, right? And they're throwing knees like this and throwing punches like this. And people are like, oh my God, it's the greatest workout. No, no, you suck. It might be a good workout, but your technique sucks. So I want to focus on actual technique with this cardio kickboxing. Anyway, next round. So you're going to throw the jab, cross, boom, boom. You're going to evade the inside kick. Then you're going to come with a cross and roundhouse, okay? So jab, cross, evade. Cross, roundhouse. Do this a couple times, let's go. Jab, cross, evade, cross, roundhouse. So you can either just step this foot back and then come in with the left cross, or you can kind of switch into the cross, okay? Jab, cross, cross, roundhouse. Boom. Jab, cross, cross, roundhouse. Uh, excuse me. Jab, cross, cross, Roundhouse spot. Always coming back into your fight stance. Always staying relaxed, loose, keep your hands up. Jab, cross, cross, roundhouse. Coming right at you, ready? Jab, cross, cross, roundhouse. Reset, one more time. Jab, cross, cross, roundhouse, good. All right, now we're gonna evade the head. 
So you're gonna throw a jab across, boom, boom. Bade the head kick, come with it across, and roundhouse on the other side, okay? Jab cross, evade, cross, kick them in the head. They try to kick you in the head, you kick that, that bitch in the head, ready? Jab cross, lean back, cross, kick, kick, bah. I'm sorry I curse, I'm from New York, I can't help it. Jab cross, bah, bah, bah. Even when I'm doing like professional calls and stuff, I still curse. I try to tell myself so much, bah, bah, not to curse, Sean. You can't curse in this interview. And I just drop F-bombs and B-bombs and all the bombs. Jab, cross, lean back, cross, roundhouse. Stay focused, come on. 15 seconds, jab, cross. It is hot. I think I've lost like 10 pounds already. Jab, cross. Get that good lean back. One more. Good, all right. We're gonna alternate between the two now. So. Jab, cross, slide that leg back, cross, roundhouse, and then reset. Then jab, cross, lean back, cross, roundhouse, boom, good. Come on. Jab, cross, lean, ba, Jab, cross, lean back, cross, roundhouse. Good technique, good power. Come on. Jab, cross, slip, boom, boom. Pulling that leg back. Now we're leaning back. Jab, cross, lean back, cross, roundhouse. Jab, cross, slip, cross, roundhouse. Love how I say don't throw 180 degrees kicks and then that's like all I'm doing. <laughs> Jab, cross, slip, cross, roundhouse. Even the Muay Thai guy messes up. Jab, cross, lean back, cross, roundhouse. All right, I think that's it. Hope that's it. There we go, we got one more round. Let's finish. All right, 45 seconds until the last round where we're gonna focus on long guard, elbows, and knees. Long guard is a great defensive tool. If you don't use it, you probably should. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I, I love doing these workouts, even when it's 100 degrees and sunny out. But uh, you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'd love to hear your feedback, what other type of workouts you want me to do, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check out the heavybagblueprint.com or heavybagblueprint.com and put in the code YouTube if you want 20% off my heavy bag course, which is next level. But we got 10 seconds and we're gonna finish off like a champ. Ready? All right, so we're gonna start with the long guard, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, and then elbow and knee. So long guard, boom. Okay, so my lead hand is gonna be extended. My back hand is gonna be here. We're gonna throw the elbow and knee. Then I'm gonna switch to the other side. So I'm gonna long guard, left elbow, right knee. Long guard, right elbow, left knee. All right, hands are always up when you're throwing elbows because if you can land an elbow, your opponent can land one too. So you need to have good defense, your chin is tucked. Long guard, elbow, knee. Long guard, elbow, knee. Long guard, elbow, knee. Make sure that knee is going straight through your opponent. Long guard, elbow, knee. So it's not just up, right? It's not just up like this, it's out. If you haven't watched the six uh, D combo, make sure you go check that out. Boom, elbow, knee. So it's gonna help you with your knee technique. Long guard, elbow, knee. Cause you can throw a stab knee or an elbow or a spear knee, okay? So now it's gonna be a long guard, knee, elbow. Long guard, knee, elbow. All right, you're doing the opposite side. Long guard, knee, elbow. If you throw the right knee, it's left elbow. Long guard, if you throw the left knee, it's right elbow. Long guard, knee, elbow. Almost there. Long guard, I messed up. It's okay, Sean. You don't look like an asshole on camera. Long guard, knee, elbow. Long guard, knee, elbow. Hands up, chin tucked. Long guard, knee, elbow. Long guard, knee, elbow. 
Long guard, knee, elbow. All right, now we're gonna alternate between all those. So you're just gonna long guard, and you're gonna throw a knee and elbow combination, okay? So, long guard, knee, elbow, elbow. Long guard, elbow, knee. Long guard, elbow, elbow, knee. So it's mixing around, whatever combinations make sense. Elbow, elbow, knee. You can triple up on the same side, you can double up on the same side, don't matter. Long guard, elbow, knee, knee. Long guard, elbow, knee, knee. Long guard, elbow, knee. Make sure that long guard is nice and tight too. So one hand is across your head like this. You can also come to the side if they're throwing a hook or you can come underneath like this if throwing an uppercut. This other hand is kind of stopping in a range finder, okay? You can also sip on them like this. So long guard, elbow, knee. Almost there, 10 seconds. Long guard, elbow, knee. Long guard, elbow, elbow, knee. Flying knee, knee, spinning elbow. Yeah, well done. If you want to cool down, check out this video from my wife. Uh, you can also check out the link in the description to uh, focus on yoga for high kicks, which will give you a 15 minute uh, free yoga sequence to focus on your hips and hamstrings so you can kick higher. But yeah, if you like this workout, check out these other workouts and also let me know what you thought in the comments and make sure you subscribe. Is that enough call to action for you? Do it all! I'll see you in the next video.